The Sixth Spiral. Has New York seen a worse migrant crisis than the one being experienced today? Of course it has, several times over. Between 1820 and 1860, the Museum of the City of New York notes more than 3.7 million immigrants arrived in New York Harbor at the time New York City population was under 1 million persons. Most of the newcomers came from across the Atlantic from unrest and turmoil in countries like Ireland and Germany. The welcome they received was anything but warm. Many New Yorkers who have been here longer frowned upon the immigrants and assailed them as a threat to the city and the country itself. Samuel Moore, Samuel Morse in 1835 created the ironically titled Native American Democratic Association, America's first native, natives anti-immigration political movement. The party castigated the newcomers and sought to make immigration more difficult rather than easier to slow the tide from overseas. <coughs> they even passed laws prohibiting immigrants from applying for certain jobs. The phrase Irish need not apply was displayed in some store windows. Of the immigrants, Moore said things that sound today like the kind of garbage spewed by the likes of Donald Trump or Curtis Sliwa. To Morse, the immigrants were filthy and ragged in body, ignorant in mind. They fill your streets with squalid beggary and your highways with crime. Morse, of course, was wrong. And the city wasn't destroyed by immigration. Rather, we thrive thanks to the enterprise and ingenuity of newcomers who arrived here in the 19th and early of, in early 20th centuries. But the lesson was never learned as evidenced today by the small yet vocal minority of New Yorkers who protest, picket, and holler at the influx of migrants from Latin America. Some of them showed up to heckle Democratic Congress members outside the Roosevelt Hotel on Friday who were there to support greater federal relief for New York and other cities housing migrants. The protesters brought with them signs with natives and or isolate, isolationist phrases like Americans first and close the border. How many of these protesters, we wonder, are descendants of immigrants themselves? The past is truly prologue. In today's migrant crisis, we see the same desperation of newcomers yearning to breed free, the overwhelmed city looking to care for them with little outside help, and natives garbage from anti-immigrant anti -immigrant protesters that our descendants experienced generations ago. It is sick it is a sick spiral that we see destined destined to repeat long after this migrant crisis is resolved. That's all I have to say for this video.